What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the Micro Futures Trader channel. We are taking a look this morning at the XRP slash USD chart. Daily chart bitstamp will be the data provider. Trading view is the charting service here. Free. We use the free service here. Tradingview.com. Looking at this XRP chart as the markets continue to pull back here. We will touch here on a brief summary what we spoke about a few days back. It was on the last XRP video, and we are getting the scenario that the scenario that we spoke about is playing out. I should say, I have a measured move to the downside where we could potentially find at least some support and maybe bounce here, but we will jump into that as well, guys. Welcome to the channel. If you are not yet subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Hit that thumbs up if you find this content one enjoyable, two valuable, and hang in here as these markets pull back. All right, guys. So before we jump into the XRP chart, let's take a look at Bitcoin real quick, which is the elephant in the room. And pretty much all markets here, crypto markets, follow kind of what Bitcoin does. So the top for Bitcoin currently came in in and around our... We have, so we have three upper resistance levels that were hit. Uh, 30,000, 234, 30,186, 30,141 cluster right here. And that's just about where the market um, so far has reached its top and found <clears throat> excuse me some resistance pretty weak candle right here that took place on the 14th of april and we are pulling back we're at a pretty critical point here for the market for bitcoin i should say and we're testing the waters so we could either one rally strong from this level which is right around the 28,249 that's at least our level of potential support. Currently, we're below that. So we could either, one, find support there and rally. If, it, if that doesn't take place, we could see something like this play out right in here. I mean, ultimately, it did rally, but we broke down strong. So on the, let's see, the 9th of March, we had that. The 8th of March was basically where we're sitting at today, make or break. We're either going to one, find support and rally or break strong. So the 9th of March broke down very strong, then follow through on the 10th, a little lower, and then we rallied big time. So we're sitting at a very similar point right now for Bitcoin. It's either going to rally up today, close above 28,249, and then we maybe we're off to the races or it's going to break down strong back down into this zone takes us into the 257 26000 dollar mark for bitcoin. Now, let's go back to XRP. XRP is so we have our resistance that came in. Um we did trade higher than our 55 cent. We hit a 58 high for this move. But our resistance level was at 55, this white line on the chart. And you can see on the 29th as well as the 30th of March, we wicked up, but we could not get a close above that. And so far, that is the upper end resistance <laughs> pulled back. And then we created this wedge here, which if you go back to the last XRP video, it's talked about, I have a fear that this is going to break to the downside. That fear is becoming a reality so wedge and then we're breaking down lower here so my measured move for this for this wedge here is potentially down to the 45 5, 4, 6 level this darker red maroon color line right here now there's no guarantee we'll get down to that far get down that far but if we do i would expect the price to find at least have a reaction there and find some support doesn't mean the support will last more than a couple hours or a day or so but i do expect the price to 
have a reaction at least at that 45 uh let's see that's actually 44 9 20 excuse me 44 9 20 that is the measured move for this wedge here breaking to the downside so basically from our red candle there down to that would be a basically a 15 percent drop if we get down to that low currently we're at 46 cents we're finding a little bit of support for xrp at the 46 zero 39 which is a another potential area of support not based off this wedge here but it is a potential support and you can see the candle is um the lows are finding support there today if we go to the three minute time frame you can see right here that we did wick down to that level and bounce and we have continued lower so we'll see if that holds or not these markets are heavy right now they're definitely getting oversold but like i said my measured move for that rising wedge is 44 920 that's 44 almost 45 cents that's right here on the chart guys we also spoke about let me take a drink of my coffee real quick if you have not hit that thumbs up guys it does help the channel helps the video appreciate it in the last video for xrp we spoke about this potentially being a lower high here and then getting that big break to the downside so far that's playing out my personal opinion not financial advice guys is these markets are getting a little oversold but keeping in mind we have not hit the full move here which would be down to 44 9 20. if we take a step back right here is now it's not a hundred percent similar but we have a big rally that took place for this chart in september pullback lower high choppy lower high very very vicious move to the downside so we could see something similar play out this move might be far from over this move could easily take us down to the so i have a bunch of levels right in here i have 40 let's see here 42,900. I have a 43,073. I have a 43,410 as well as a 43,537. So we could find the price down into this area if it doesn't find support at our measured move, which is at 44,920. We'll see, guys. That also correlates with this high over here. So that could be. What was once resistance turning into support and we saw that actually take place when this rally took place we pulled back right to that area that 43 42 9 area and then we rallied into that 55 cents pullback wedge wedge is breaking to the downside measured move to 44 9 20. these waterfall moves i call them to the downside can lead to a big v bottom so eventually we'll find support here and then we could see a pretty vicious rally to the upside if we take a look at casper we'll come back to the xrp chart guys if we take a look at casper casper you know similar look to um xrp in the fact that we had a big big rally right into resistance at 571 getting that pullback but what i want to talk about is this arrow right here not the best actually example but it shows that this pullback this double bottom here pullback rally double bottom led to a massive massive rally to the upside tested a very important level here at 334 investors started to get bearish again found support took off like a rocket creating a higher high here on the first of april and then boom all the way up getting that pullback good chance this pullback heads to four six six so anyways when the markets pull back investors get too 
bearish. You can see a pretty gnarly, vicious rally in the opposite direction to the upside. So we'll see, guys. So what I'm keeping my eye on, of course, not financial advice, guys, is 44,920. That would be a full move, a full measured move based off this wedge right down to here. If that doesn't hold, looking for some support to show up basically at the 42.9 all the way up to 43.537. This cluster right here, which correlates with this cluster of candles, which correlates with this high over here. And when I say I'm looking for support, that would be an area I would look to add some more XRP to my accounts would be at the 44,920 and then maybe some more down in here. But like I said, I could be wrong, but that's where I think um, you have the least risk, I guess it would be to add some more. So we'll see what happens here. Markets are getting oversold. When markets get oversold too fast, we can see a nice big rally in the opposite direction, which would be to the upside. So that's my thoughts, guys, on lower potential areas of support for XRP. You know, eventually we will rally here, but Bitcoin is in trouble right now. And if it doesn't find support and start to get back above that 28,249, we should be heading lower. And when we head lower here for Bitcoin, there's a good chance that XRP will not buck that trend and will not go higher, will actually go lower. So patience, we'll see here. XRP has broken some pretty important lows and that's a concern. So that raises the flag that that 44.9 or even down to that 43, 44 level could definitely be visited. But we'll have to see how this plays out, guys. Of course, I have many, many higher targets for XRP, but right now, guys, we are in a short-term downtrend. So we went from a higher high to a higher low, higher high, higher low, where the yellow, where the caution flag started to come in is when we printed this lower high and then we got the move, the lower low. So the trend has changed to the downside, at least for the short term. What we would be looking for on the reverse of that would be, it could play out two different ways here. So let me get this on the chart. So we could, we could, we could one, this is the most likely to happen would be a rally to a another lower high. So we're still in a downtrend, but then that pullback that comes is that higher low. And that's where you want to, that's what you want to be looking for because that next move to come, which is that higher high can be extremely strong and take the markets up the pretty high. Now there is a chance, you know, the more oversold it gets, the stronger the opposite side the rally can be we you could see a straight v rally out of here creating that higher high and then you get that higher low so either scenario could play out but that's just wanted to share that something to keep your eye out on and that would give us that trend change back to the upside but right now guys the reality is xrp is in at least some kind of a short-term downtrend we have a lower high, we have a lower low. We have not yet reached the lower targets down there at the 44.9 or even as low as the 43.42 area. So we'll have to see how this plays out. Like I said, we're keeping our eyes on Bitcoin. We wanna see support come back in at 28.249 and um, that's pretty much what we're watching right now. If that doesn't take place, I'd be looking for a 26 to a 25 or so thousand dollar bitcoin all right guys thanks for hanging around like i said join us here on the channel hit that subscribe button hit that thumbs up share this video with your buddies links as always down in the video description you guys take care we'll be back been a little slow here on the channel but we'll be back with some shorts and some more videos leave a comment let me know what 
video you want to see and I will check it out. Take care.